So this will be Isaac's six month update. He is now seven months. He turned seven months on the fifth. So um, I have my notes here so I can give you guys his update. Uh, he had his doctor's appointment yesterday. Um, it was his six month doctor's appointment. And the reason why he was late at his six month doctor's appointment was because he was sick. So he got sick and he didn't go, get to go to his doctor's appointment uh, when he was six months and they are really busy so they had to schedule me out like a month so and he was sick for at least five or six days like it was his first cold ever and I was going crazy because I didn't know how to take care of him like I didn't want to give him medicine yet you know I didn't want him coughing or just feeling yucky and um but we got through it and um i called the nurse and we spoke over the phone for about 20 minutes on um, what i could do and what i couldn't do and they don't really recommend giving like babies under a certain age medicine just because they don't know what kind of effects medicine has on them this young so um i only gave like out of like out of five or six days that he was sick I only gave him medicine like two times and this was because the coffee just would not stop or um, he was just really really cranky it was kind of just to help him like soothe himself to go to sleep or um, you know because he wasn't getting any rest because he couldn't sleep with he had a special nose so he had to like breathe through his mouth I guess he would forget that he's having to breathe through his mouth and he would close his mouth and then he would like start choking. Um, so it was really, really hard. But um, I have to say that we got a humidifier and it's a coolness humidifier and it like works wonders. I'm so happy I got that. And now even though he's not sick, we just sleep with it on because it makes the air in the house and especially in the room where I have it, it makes it less dry. And the doctor said that the um, dry air makes your cough worse. So um, it works great. And um, what else? So they checked his height yesterday. And he is 26 inches and 20 pounds. So he's in the 75 percentile. Which they did say that he's pretty chunky and short. So he's fat and short. <laughs> So, but that's okay. And, um, what else? So, when he was sick, um, it was our first time giving him apple juice. They actually recommend apple juice more than orange juice, is what his doctor said. And I read a lot about it. And, um, I just, I found, I found that apple juice is good warm. Like, they told me to give him, like, two ounces every like four times a day and um, you can give it like more water down but it's supposed to help the mucus pass and um, that worked great too because it would either make him vomit his mucus or he would like poop his mucus and he's being pretty noisy right now but um, so the things that he can do and what he learned for his six months was he pulls off his socks. So he had been pulling off his socks, but like now he like pulls them off and eats them. And um, like he just puts them in his mouth and like sucks on his socks. I couldn't, I can't leave socks on him because he had just pulled them off. Um, he likes to kick off his shoes. So he'll like put his heels together to kick his shoes off. And um, <laughs> he's throwing himself back right now. <laughs> Um, what else? He mastered sitting, which I tell you guys, um, towards the end of, like, at his five month video that he was pretty much, like, he pretty much had it. Well, now, like, he pretty much, uh, he doesn't need any help or anything with his sitting. Like, he sits perfect. Now, he actually even learned to throw himself forward and get into almost like a crawling position, but he does not crawl. So, um, he, like, throws himself over to the front and just like kind of lay there and he tries to like scoot himself so um and we noticed that he can scoot himself sitting on his butt too so i don't know if he's going to be like those baby 
scooting booty crawlers or if it's just a little more way for him to get around right now that he doesn't know how to crawl. Um, what else? Um, of course, like that's what I said, he can like reach to things by scooting. Um, he doesn't like scoot scoot. He just somehow he's like on his butt and he's in a different position than what I positioned him or something. He claps his hands like when we go, yay! Yay! Do it, puppy! Do it! He only does it when he wants to. But he goes like, like this. It's more like this. So he'll clap his hands and um, we try teaching him how to like wave and um, he puts his arm like out this way and like goes, he wants to stand up. He puts his arm like out and he'll like go like this, like he's kind of trying to do what we're doing. So he's mocking us now and um, what else? Oh, when we tell him no, like no, 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 he he goes like this, and he does it in the bed too, like no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to do anything, and I haven't been able to catch him on camera because he does it for such a short while. He doesn't like do it constantly. Ugh. What else did you learn? Oh, he knows where his milk is coming from, I guess. Because when he's hungry now, he goes like, <laughs> like up into my boob. It's so cute. <laughs> I, I used to think like it was so weird when babies did that. But now that Isaac does it, I just think it's so cute. And, um... Oh, what are you doing? Oh, so he can scream now for attention. Like, if he doesn't mainly to daddy. If he sees daddy coming or daddy kind of like spooking around, like trying to trying to catch him off guard, he'll scream like he wants like he wants daddy's attention. So he screams to brother too. So I think he just like really recognizes them, and he just like goes ah like ah. <laughs> so yeah, uh, my phone's ringing. Okay, and um, he might be getting his little vampire teeth. I don't feel them. I mean, I don't feel them with my finger, but when he nurses, I feel something in there. So I don't know if it's because, like, the nipple is more sensitive and I can feel it better, his gums, than my fingertips because I don't feel it. I don't see it with my fingertips, but I definitely feel, feel something when he's nursing. And, um... I have to look. Oh, I don't know who keeps calling me. Um, sorry guys, I have to look at my notes. Actually, that was all my notes. So, um, that's it, I guess, you guys. Uh, I don't think of anything else that I need to update on other than I have started like buying a lot of stuff for his birthday party. So, after Christmas, during the like after Christmas sales, I got like a lot of... Um, like plates and cups and candy and the candy I don't plan on using it for his birthday because it's still like what, five months away um, but I, I plan on using the candy more or less for um, for Easter so um, I plan on buying a whole bunch of after after Easter sell candy for his birthday party so um, that's all I'm doing I haven't started working on any of the decorations yet but I will share them with you guys. Um, I'm supposed to be making this uh, this ribbon poof ball thingy. Um, it looks like a plant or something, like a ribbon flower thing. I don't know. But I'll show it to you guys. And um, that's it. So we'll see you soon. And Isaac, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Say.